Hello and welcome to Hey, we like your pod And we're going to tell you why Hi, it's Dawn here and I'm joined as always by my trusted partner Maddie Pickett for Season Four Season Four Of our little podcast, Maddie Yeah <laughs> Happy Annie to you as well. Yes. Thanks. Very exciting. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're watching football tonight. We're going to make this nice and short <laughs> halftime show. <laughs> I'm just so jazzed. I, I was trying to watch. Um, Our hallway kitty is kind of missing. Oh, and no. she's ended up at another neighbor's. And so we were communicating. It was just a lot. And then oh. like five other people decided they had to have a text chain. And then the only person I really wanted to text with was my friend who's a Kansas City Chiefs fan. <laughs> and she's, I was like, are you watching? Are you excited? And she's like, what? <laughs> I, Wait, what do you mean, what? <laughs> Chiefs, Raisins? She, she's like, Ravens? I said Raisins. She said, oh, she totally forgot. And she's a big, like, she's one of my texts. Anyway, so she was so happy I texted her. You're a gem. <laughs> so that was fun. Anyway, how you doing, Maddie? How's school going? Uh, I'm good. Things are good. It's funny you said uh, the raisins because it wouldn't be the Baltimore raisins. It'd have to be the California raisins. The raisins. If, if that were the actual team name. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, it's second week of classes and it's 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 busy. It's good. Uh, you know, uh, can't complain. I mean, I, how can I complain? I'm, I'm just like delirious with, with oh. joy right now because there's actual real football happening. Yes. You know, watch the most of the first half here of two like really good teams playing. It's just so mm -hmm. exciting to see, you know, starting football players playing so against neat. each other. I just, I'm just totally mm -hmm. pumped quick hey to our friend iowa joe in the chat here joe thanks for stopping by man um yeah and of course that's the other thing is is now that we're back in season with thursday night football you know of course folks will be coming to you at halftime of the football games and i think don already mentioned like we're gonna try to do a fast halftime episode because i think we both want to see the rest of the game too so the game and we know you do too i have like 65 superlatives that i won't well, share no. them all with you um <laughs> let's see Let's see what's going on in my life. Okay, so our hallway kitty is missing, but I found her today mm. at another house down the street. Oh, <laughs> so we're, okay. gonna, we're working on like a situation. It's a long, long story, but she needs a new home, a permanent home, but she's the cutest cat. I can't bring her in because of Tosh and her GI bleed. So um, it's just a thing. And one of my other neighbors wants to adopt her, but she's, they're buying a house and they're in transition. She's like, I can't handle this until I move. And so I'm trying to find her like a foster situation. She's the cutest thing on the planet, though. She's got, she's like this dove gray, kind of medium long hair with some blonde in it. And then she has the most beautiful light green eyes with black eyeliner. Mm. It's such pretty coloring. And then she has the nicest orange peach, almost like a hot pink nose, also with black eyeliner. <laughs> she's just <laughs> the cutest cat. And she's so friendly and all of that. So hi, hi Lorenzo. Hi, Joe. Okay. So let's let's get into it. Did you bring some yeah. superlatives, Maddie? Yeah. I got three okay. ready, locked and loaded. Oh. Okay, you do yours, I'll do mine, and then we'll hopefully we'll be off in time for the football game. All right. So uh, my first one, Don. So I'll just go on three three in a row here. Yeah, yeah. My first one is uh, best tradition. So okay. uh, this is a podcast I started talking about last season that that kind of like came on my radar that I really I've really grown to love a lot. This is the the Unpack podcast on the oh, yeah. Frozen Thunder frequencies, formerly mm -hmm. on the Packing Company, uh, you know, podcast feed that comes. SB Nation blew up their podcast feeds. Uh, they now have their own feed going with uh, the other former Active Packing Company podcasts like uh, Reporting is Eligible and The Repack. So anyhow, Unpack Podcast every year was a thing called the Guy Draft. And I love this concept, Don. So what it is, is that they um, each of the three like hosts of the show 
uh, choose a, a guy, or actually they have a couple rounds of guys who are like like their guy. What that means is they have to be, have been a third round or undrafted, uh, sorry, a third day, a day three or undrafted football player. They have to be in their first or second year, and they can't have already been claimed by somebody else in the podcast. So it's like finding those kind of like unheralded, potentially undrafted gems in the team, those guys you're rooting for, your guy. Okay. Okay. So they officially claim their guys with the guy draft. And um, this this show is just a really fun show, though, because like it's kind of like got a sort of like slacker energy. Like these guys are just kind of like talking and having fun. And it's it's like it's like it's a deeply unserious podcast in a possible way. It's just like a really, really fun listen. And the guys have amazing rapport. You know, we've right. talked a lot about the show about like the best podcasts are where the uh, there's really good chemistry with with the people who are doing the podcast. And this is mm-hmm. such a good example of that. So yeah. um, if you haven't checked out the Unpack podcast, it's fantastic. And their their guy draft that they had on their last win um, was was really really funny. So highly recommend that. True North Packers fan, welcome man. Says guy draft means different things in other <laughs> <laughs> everything means different things. That's yeah. that's yes, pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> True North Packers fan popped on probably by accident because I had a live stream going on this channel for my true crime uh, show on. Saturday, it was like a mm-hmm. Jeopardy game, and he's like, "Where am I?" I think he was like, <laughs> "That's awesome." It was good. It was good. That's a great one. I like that. I want to check it out. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Well, I mean, but- this week, Don, like, I feel like I am behind because it's been like yeah. the fire hose is on full throttle. It's just been like fifteen oh. podcasts a day I want to listen to, ten articles, and three videos. I'm just been, like trying to keep up, and I I'm, we're oh, back. I'm almost caught up, but it's been a lot. So <laughs> I know it's a lot. So it's so uh, fun, ne- though. It's so fun. That- oh, it's it's great. Oh. It's a lot, but it's great. So it's all right, my next one then, Don, okay. is speaking of fun, most fun. The most fun for this week has been uh, Sandwich being back on Last Call Lambo as a guest host this week. You know, of course, Sam used to be one of the three hosts of the show, along with uh, Monty Moore and Aaron Alice. Mm-hmm. Um, and then last season, I think midway through the season, realized that like she had too much going on. And so she had to like step yeah. away from being on the podcast, which was a huge bummer. But, yeah. you know... Every time that Sam's on there, it's just they, they, the silliness ramps up. Mm-hmm. Um, there's always things that I end up like clipping and posting because like Sam just has the most outrageous stuff all the time <laughs> when she's on there. So uh, just hearing the three of them together and also because like Aaron and Monty haven't recorded an episode of that like in a while. They kind of were on hiatus for a bit there. So mm-hmm. just having the podcast back, having the three of them together, mm-hmm. whole cow, hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> now, did you say she was... Oh, okay, guest hosting, so she's not like permanently back. No, I wish. I wish. Okay. Okay. Maybe the day will come eventually when she does like rejoin them full time. Yeah, but this, for sure. this week, just uh, you know, for their premiere of the new season. Uh, I love that. That's just, perfect, just though. What a perfect time to come back. Oh, yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. what a great way to celebrate the beginning of the football season, frankly. You know, so mm-hmm. that was a lot of fun. All right, Don. So, my third one then yes. is kind of interesting because it ties into last week's episode from our, our season finale of the third season of our show. Because yeah. remember, last week, um, there was uh, the guy who was who was uh, in the comments, and I can't think of his name. Um, shoot, I really might... great guy, and okay. um, you know who I'm talking about, who was like <laughs> asking guy. all the questions, and he asked us yes. about um, who or what our thoughts were about, um, about Josh Jacobs and pass protection, basically it was kind of getting to that. And then as it turned out, Dusty Evely was actually in the chat as well. So I was like, well, actually I was just looking at a bunch of, uh, Josh Jacobs pass protection stuff. And then Dusty did an article about it. And I was like, he I was know. talking about that in the comments section yes. last week. Yes. And Dusty was there. Yep. So the, uh, the article for, again, Acme Packing Company, second time to mention it today, the article is called uh, The Green Bay Packers, Josh Jacobs, and Pass Pro. And, um, you know, standard, amazing, dusty stuff. I, I don't want to use the word standard to describe anything Dusty does because it's always amazing. Right. But right. you just kind of breaking right. down, like, some of his snaps, like some reason for, like, hey, this might be good, but also these reasons it might not be good, you know? Um, mm-hmm. And typical, like, Dusty breaking it down, making it accessible, easy to understand, Um you know, typically excellent stuff. I shouldn't say standard. I should say typically excellent. So, um, yes. yeah, highly recommended. It like everything Dusty does. So, I like a lot it. of good stuff this week. And those are just like three of so many amazing things we saw, read, and heard. I do want to also do a quick side shout out, actually, to our friend Wendell Ferreira, 
um, for providing the sort of like like guy on the inside, uh, you know, reporting about the Packers practices and stuff. He's he's like he's a beat reporter basically, you know, for the week, um, and seeing his his um, you know reports from Brazil and from practices has been so cool. So side shout out Wendell, dude, you're awesome. Shout out to Wendell and and while you were working your little fingers to a bone today, Wendell and I were trying to conspire to get him on the show tonight or sometime today, but the timing mm -hmm. didn't work out super great. So he'll be on soon. Um, he's, Definitely get him on soon. Yeah. I think I think it's better because instead of having him run, I mean, he went back to the hotel. Anyway, it's just better that he doesn't do too much. It's that way he can enjoy and savor some of the yeah. moments. Yeah. He should be president. It's a big, it's a big week for him. And mm -hmm. um, it'll be cool to hear about how it was after the fact. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Now, this isn't a superlative, but speaking of last week's show and Dusty being in the comments, he did, uh, he helps us all be smarter, right? That's kind of the greatest thing. Yeah. Um, and he kind of uh, compelled me to do a little research on my own about mm. difficulty of positions and why they're more difficulty and some that they're considered, you know, not just skill level but the actually learning the position and why and i got yeah. i won't share any of it because there's a lot of conflicting information about it. <laughs> <laughs> so i i couldn't really get to a definitive well i think well obviously the quarterback is the most difficult but um i know some people argue that the kicker is the easiest not skill level again i wasn't talking right. skill level but um Anyway, None so of them are easy. It, Let's be it clear. Made me think, it made me think more, <laughs> which I appreciate about Dusty. And so um, I have a, twi uh, 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 a tweet. I have a superlative that I've been share uh, saving for a couple of weeks. And this is just, I got to say, okay, it's called the most Chargers thing ever. And you would know if you live in Chargers world. But I don't know if you heard about this, the Charger players getting stuck in the team hotel elevator yeah when they yeah. were in so yeah it's just i mean it sounded hot and i don't know how scary it was but it sounded like a claustrophobic nightmare for me mm -hmm. i hate elevators but um i just thought that was kind of and somebody actually talked about it and named the article that so i got just mm. coming from Sar chargers world out here um super funny um let's see in i am just mentioning dusty for helping us be smarter about the difficulty and levels are ranking of those positions. I would, I'm going to keep working on that. Like I, I want to understand this more. I want to understand the positions better. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I've got the wrong document up. So I'm just going to fly, <laughs> fly with this. There's two <laughs> things. Um, one thing I, I'm just going to talk about NFL meets true crime again. Um, mm -hmm. and, on, and, and I was just kind of shocked that Rasheed Walker was playing tonight for the Chiefs after his um, being arrested. Remember, he went into hiding for a little while, supposedly, um, for, you know, racing um, on a Houston, like, freeway, highway, and, you know, go like, it was just creating a really bad accident situation and then leaving the scene and all that jazz. So I was kind of shy, but it, interestingly, there were a lot of people talking about it from the legal side. Like, why is he playing and how is he playing and why did the NFL allow that? Because I just feel like that's pretty, um, I mean, I understand from the chief standpoint, the legal team is going to do everything they can. He's a rookie. I mean, he, he was just drafted, but at the same time, I just kind of disappointed that, I mean, whether it's whatever the crime is, you just like, you don't want to encourage that, you know, and then be out like, yeah, yeah. So I was disappointed. That's all I'll say. And that's uh, Rishi Rice is who you're talking about, right? Rishi Rice, yeah, for yeah. Um, the Chiefs, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can say, you know, from the from the college level uh, employee perspective, that there is a certain amount of like, you know, enabling and um, mm -hmm. you know, looking at the way uh, for for college athletes, especially the football and basketball players, um, mm -hmm. you know, and. Uh, I'll, I'll just say, you know, it doesn't surprise me that Rishi Rice could like more or less get away with it at the level that he has for that, you know, it's kind of, kind of par for the course, sadly. Right. So yeah, no, with you on that. Well, yeah, I mean, it would have been the chiefs they're protecting they, their investment basically. And mm -hmm. if that's what it comes down to now, he's a rookie. So he wouldn't have like jillions of dollars, you, you know, yet for um, 
legal fees. So I'm sure it's the organization that's doing everything they can to get yeah. in, which Most is kind of it's kind of icky. icky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of icky. It is. Um, and, I was encouraged, though. I mean, first of all, I was shocked he was playing, but then because I wondered about it, and then I was encouraged, even though I had so many distractions, I couldn't hear everything. But I was encouraged to hear a couple of different commentators talking about it. So it's not like people are at least just not talking about it. Mm-hmm. So I'd appreciate it. So is this the second year? Mark is saying this is the second yeah, year. I thought he was yeah. distracted. Okay. No, no, he was a huge breakout player, especially in the last half of last year. Um, he's, okay, he's good. Yeah, but, yeah I'm, so I have know. lost track of time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and hi, hi, it's good to see you, Mark. Yeah, so Mark, yeah, so those are my three uh, quickies for tonight. And I just Love yeah, it. again, sh- thanks Wendell for entertaining the possibility of like jumping on tonight. That would have been really fun. But we are so excited for Wendell and everybody in Brazil who gets to see a game couldn't yeah. be happier yeah and um and super excited also for our guests next week before we go in case you in case you miss it um we're gonna have a really fun guest next week his name is paul farrington he's <gasps> the paul farrington show and he is a vikings fan and he has like a vikings show but he he's one of the packers like i found him because he covers packers you know divisional stuff he's the whole league he's got a couple of really great partners but yeah, mm-hmm. paul, paul will be with us next week so just I'm so excited to mention for that. that. Yeah, I'm so yeah. excited. His show's watching. so good. And he's, he's, you know, he brings a lot of, like, self-effacing humor about himself and about his team. And it's it's really fun to listen to. Really smart, really funny guy. So looking it, forward it to it. It is. It is. And and um, he has two partners, are, you know, co-hosts often. Mm-hmm. Um, my fa- I'm sorry, but I just love Ziggy. His, his yep. Ziggy. He's yep. just brilliant. You can tell he's, like, a super, super intelligent guy. And um, just... I, I caught a few of their shows this week. Paul was on vacation, but you know, they're back this week. And I, mm-hmm. I, tr- I tried to cram in a couple and it just enjoyed every second of their show, just like <laughs> last year. So it was great. So we're looking forward to that next week and anything else, any final thoughts before we get back to the game, Maddie? Yeah. Just one is that uh, echo something that um, Ben Fennel said on the show with Andy Herman uh, this week, which is, you know, no matter what happens the first week, just remember, it's just the first week. Like this that's season right. is a marathon, not a sprint. So if like the Packers come out and look amazing. Yeah, that's Yay. that's cool. And it's, it's really great. Mm-hmm. But just know that's not necessarily how the whole season is going to go. If they come out they, and they lay an egg yeah. in Brazil, don't let it get you down. It's just one game, you know. So I think like, to, to yeah. pass on like, you know, final thoughts would be like, keep a level head. You know, about whatever happens, whether good, bad, or indifferent in Brazil. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. I thought that was good Mm -hmm. advice from Ben Fennel. I I, I appreciate that. I was thinking the same thing, and I'm I'm really glad you mentioned it because I'll have to tell myself that tomorrow night, too. (laughs) I do remember (laughs) hearing a couple times that the, not that it matters a ton, but that the Eagles are favored by three points. That was, I think, yesterday. But that's fine. That's not like, (laughs) what I mean to say is that's not like, by 14 points. In other words, right. it's going to be a good game. It's going yeah. to be a good game. Yeah. No injuries, please, uh, uh, for anybody. You know how I always say that. But um, I think it's going to be super fun. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, wasn't it interesting to see the Packers player go out um, on the plane with um, wearing all the same outfits, like an Olympic team or something? Oh, I didn't <laughs> Did see that. Did you notice that? that? Yeah, no, that. I've never <laughs> seen that before. They were almost, they were all wearing the same t- uh sweaties yeah it was great and it's like i want that i want that outfit it's really one that i would wear <laughs> so it, it's kind of all was all white sweatshirts a little green bay logo and even the coach had it on nice it was so cute <laughs> I loved it. i'll check it out yeah okay good. maddie well let's bring her home and get back to the game that's right so friends we'd love to have a chance to interview you and shout you out if you're a subscriber and a football fan if you'd like to nominate someone to be a guest on our podcast, please let us know. Our DMs are open on all the social platforms. And folks, when you subscribe to our podcast, you help us to keep spreading the love in our community. And the best way to help this podcast grow is by sharing it with your friends and family. Yes, Maddie, that's right, because we love you. We're so glad to know you, to be fans of you, and have the luxury of being fans of the most storied team in the NFL. Mm-hmm. We appreciate your support, your subscriptions, and sharing our pod, and we look forward to seeing you next week on... Hey, we like your pod.
Football in general comes down to discipline and people owning their roles. And when you aren't disciplined or you go outside the scheme, bad stuff happens.